How's it going Guardians? Shifty here and today I'm back with another Lost Sector guide. In this one I'm going to be covering the Master Sepulchre Lost Sector in the Throne World. Now if you don't know this already, the Lost Sectors are actually a pretty excellent way to get Platinum Medallions for Guardian games. So if you're still trying to get your hands on a decent title submachine gun, or you just want to compete in the Guardian games in this final week, today is a great day to farm Platinum Medallions. All you have to do is grab the Platinum Medallion Contender card and you can complete 3 Legend Lost Sectors or 2 Master Lost Sectors. Given that the Sepulcher Lost Sector is one of the easier ones to do, that shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, so for the Sepulcher Lost Sector, we're going to be dealing with Barrier Champions and Unstoppable Champions. It's going to have Solar Burn, so Solar Damage is boosted by 50%, both incoming and outgoing. And we're going to have Arc and Solar Shields. Now in this one I'm going to show you a full run on a hunter only because the runs are going to be so similar between all three classes. I will be going over my loadout in just a moment but before I do that, if you end up enjoying today's video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. With that said for my hunter I went with Mobius Quiver, if you're on a Titan you'll go with Sentinel Shield, on a Warlock you'll go with Nova Bomb. On all three classes I rocked the Vortex Grenade. The aspects don't matter that much, but the fragments I had were the same on all three classes. I have Echo of Expulsion, Echo of Remnants, and Echo of Undermining. As for my weapons in this run, I have a Kinetic Scout Rifle. This is primarily for Barrier Champions. Then I have the Augma PR6 Solar Pulse Rifle. This is going to be for Unstoppable Champions, but it also gets a 50% damage boost since it is a solar weapon. This is also going to be used for Ad Clear. And finally, for my heavy weapon, I highly, highly recommend using Gallarhorn. It's also going to get that 50% damage boost because it does solar damage, and Gallarhorn is just an excellent weapon for this particular Lost Sector. It can clear adds out extremely quickly, and it pretty much one-shots champions even on Master Difficulty. It won't always one-shot them, but chances are pretty good that it will. Now, for my armor mods, I'll just quickly show you each piece of armor, and if you need to see anything in more detail, just pause the video. Now I didn't run a particular exotic on any of the three classes, you can use ones that you enjoy the most. Orpheus Rig does help here on a hunter, but it's not necessary. Anyway, that is it for my loadout here. It's basically the same on all three classes, you can make minor adjustments here or there. If you don't have Gallarhorn, you could use something like Ascendancy, but again, I highly recommend using Gallarhorn. Now for this run, there will be live commentary, and if you have any questions about running it on a Warlock or Titan, I would be happy to answer those in the comment section down below. You can use this video as a guide to help you farm some exotic leg armor today, or to farm platinum medallions for the Guardian games before it's over. With that said, let's get right into the run. Alright, to start things off, we are going to have an arc shield, but I don't have any arc damage. However, Gallowhorn should easily be enough to take out that knight. Once this room is cleared out, we're going to move on to the next. We're going to have enemies spawning on either side here. Acolytes and a barrier champion on each side. I'm basically going to kind of sit back in this little corridor and take out all the acolytes before worrying about the barrier champions. You are going to have several acolytes here. The only thing you really have to worry about is their grenades like that. Alright, so it looks like pretty much all the Acolytes are down. I am going to take this a little bit slower than I normally would have on my own, just so I can kind of explain what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do next is hit that champion a couple of times. If it dodges, I'm going to try to just uh, be patient and then fire a rocket. If it doesn't, I'll just fire a rocket like I did right there. This one didn't dodge either, so I'm going to fire a rocket, and then it decided to dodge. Alright, I got the stun and it is finishable, so I'm going to go ahead and finish it, simply because I want the heavy ammo. We are going to have a light bearer here. Let's go ahead and finish that as well, and then I'll get more heavy ammo from the ghost. Now through this doorway, there's usually a barrier champion. You can see we have some acolytes right off the bat. Barrier champion is a little bit further back. Now, if you don't kill that barrier champion right away, it will move on into the next room and you'll have to worry about it there. I'm going to reload my rocket, make sure everything's good to go. 
And then I'm going to be ready for this left unstoppable champion that's going to spawn. What I'm going to do, stun it immediately, and then rock it over there. We'll get a bunch of acolytes and do a decent amount of damage to the champion. In this case, I actually was able to finish it off. Take out a bunch of these acolytes before the thrall get here. You're going to have several thrall. They're going to push into this doorway, which is fine. You can just kind of backtrack a little bit. But there is going to be a light bearer, as you can see there. That is going to be very deadly with the solar burn on, so you're going to have to watch out for that. I primarily want to take this champion out. Watch out for the super on that light bearer. I think it supered or used a knife again. Either way, one Gallarhorn shot should easily take it out or get you pretty close. And then you can go ahead and finish the ghost. I'm going to backtrack again because there's several enemies in this room that I uh, really don't want to deal with up close and personal. Alright, now we do have to clear out the rest of the room before we can move on. So any additional acolytes that may be remaining... There they are. All right. Is that it? That is it. The door opened up. Now we can make our way to the boss room. Now I do have six rockets. So for this boss room, I'm going to go ahead and send a rocket right into the middle of the room right away. And then I'm going to go ahead and super the boss. We are going to have some barrier champions to contend with here. But I'm going to wait for them to kind of come over to this area right here. You can see one of them pushing already. But I also want to deal with the acolytes because I don't really want to fight a ton of different enemies at once. Alright, let's see what I can do with this barrier champion here. Alright, one barrier champion down. Again, I'm going to try to tap this one a couple of times and see if it dodges. And then I'll just fire a rocket if it doesn't. And that champion is also down. From here, I should be able to go to the chest. Uh, on a hunter, I can go invis. On a warlock or titan, you can probably take out the remainder of the enemies. But it shouldn't be that difficult to get up here and grab the chest. And there we have it, that was a Platinum Completion of the Sepulchre Master Lost Sector in the Throne World. This is an excellent way to farm the Platinum Medallions, it should only take two runs of the Lost Sector to complete a Platinum Medallion. And if you can do it in about five minutes or less, that's two runs every ten minutes, so a Platinum Medallion every ten minutes, which equates to six in an hour. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, remember to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.